Hi, this is Zach Mir with the US Penny Stocks Highlights for Wednesday the 16th of September. Starting off with Biocept, where you can see there's been a narrow bear trap from below the uh, old support of uh, April and May, so normally around the $3.75 level. Uh, while there's no end-of-day close um, below that, we're looking for further upside. We've obviously already uh, tested the 200-day uh, moving average at $4.83, but an end-of-day close above the 200-day line could offer a uh, fresh target there as high as $7 plus at the 50-day moving average. Time frame on that the next month. On to Histogen, and um, here we've got stock with uh, not too much uh, charting data uh, to go by, but we've had a bear trap from below uh, 188, which was the uh, um, August intraday support. And uh, really, while we're above that on an end of day close basis, looking towards the 50 day moving average currently running at around the $2.50 level. This stage only really back below uh, sub uh, $1.70, and uh, recent uh, closing support for the shares really upsetting the uh, recovery argument for that particular situation. On to a stock which is um, one that we looked at uh, a while back. Uh, it didn't quite perform as we wanted, but it, there was a little bit of an upswing uh, after that uh, uh, July trend line break. Uh, we've got the shares now also attempting to uh, push on the upside. End of day close above the 50 day moving average and $3.12 really uh, would be the trigger for a potential move towards the uh, 200 day moving average currently running at around the $7.90 level. The upside there, hopefully, seen uh, on uh, or before the end of October. Uh, difficult to resist looking at Kodak today, where a clean bill of health has been uh, uh, given by the authorities regarding the um, rather lively price action and the reasons for it last month, or rather in July. Uh, currently, we're waiting to see whether we can get uh, above that neckline resistance uh, around the $10.25 level. The moment doesn't look like we're going to get there, but uh, at least while we're above the 50-day moving average at uh, $7.70 or so, uh, one would be looking for a potential break to break higher, rather to fill the gap, uh, the initial gap down from the beginning of uh, August. Uh, on to uh, stock which I have covered before, but uh, not for a while. Uh, Kindred Biosciences, uh, we broke out of that triangle at the uh, end of uh, August, tested uh, for support towards the 50-day uh, moving average at $4.06, and uh, uh, an end-of-day close today above uh, that uh, late August peak, $5.19, uh, could be enough to take the shares up towards the top of the rising trend channel uh, from March, uh, currently pointing as high as $6.64. Uh, Ledger is uh, another stock which makes uh, relatively frequent appearances here on the US penny stocks. Um, current situation is that we've had a falling wedge breakout, so we've seen the market break above the 200-day uh, uh, moving average at $2.03. While we're above the 200-day line, looking initially for the uh, $2.65 area at the 50-day line, and uh, even more importantly, uh, back at the uh, uh, top of the post-August range, around the three dollars plus level hopefully seeing that uh, over the next uh, four to six weeks uh, going along to a stock which uh, uh, has reasonable uh, prospects it would seem from a bullish perspective uh, myomo uh, the reason for the relative enthusiasm here is the way that uh, uh, the shares have gapped up significantly uh, currently found finding support at uh, old initial July resistance, so we can call that $4.82. And while there's no end of day close back below that, then we'll want to go with uh, the Myomo upside and the potential target there as high as $7.90. Uh, we haven't looked at uh, the following stock for a while, uh, Osin Innovation. Uh, here you can see that uh, the market has uh, had a gap to the upside through former resistance. So the view at this stage is while there's no end of day close, uh, back below $4.18 and that uh, uh, late July, early August resistance, uh, we could still head higher. A uh, break of a key $4.70 area would point at the top of the wider rising trend channel uh, from uh, the uh, early part of this year through $5.50. Uh, the next stock is one which uh, I've been championing uh, as much as anything on the basis that it sounds like a company which is doing stuff and going places, uh, Pacific Ethanol. Here we've just broken into a new 52-week highs. 
and uh, the way it looks uh, one can expect much more from uh, these shares over the near term. On to uh, a stock which is uh, one that I covered very recently and uh, here we've got a uh, track on uh, pharmaceuticals here the uh, target hit at the top of this rising trend channel from January at $5.15 so looking for a $5.20 plus target to open up the fresh a fresh uh, new um, uh, level for the bulls to shoot at uh, currently the March resistance line projection currently pointing up to uh, $7.30 and uh, if you are wanting to continue with this uh, while we're above uh, yesterday's floor around the $4.30 area the upside here could be as high as uh, $7.30 to 50 over the course of uh, the rest of September and going into October. Uh, another stock which is making a welcome return is uh, Tiziano Life Sciences. Uh, obviously good demerger news uh, that we've had uh, today and the shares bouncing off the rising trend channel from January. Uh, the message at the moment is while we're above uh, the floor of the channel $3.24 uh, at least the 50-day moving average just through $4 is the first target over the next uh, uh, week or so. But the uh, big prize would be a test of the top of the rising trend channel from January, currently running at $6.65. And that's the end of October target for the way the shares are at the moment. At this stage, only really sub $3, really killing the uh, bull argument there at Tiziana. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.